Hey guys, let's go ahead and jump right into this breakdown. In my opinion, the theme with Natane Moody and what I saw when I watched all of his snaps against the Kansas City Chiefs, he's very aggressive. He looks for work. He's going to double team the defensive tackle there. He's going to go out to the DN and he's going to put his ass into the dirt. And once he puts a guy into the dirt, he's not finished. He's going to look to take it to the next guy. Bam, he goes and hits the next guy. Now, he doesn't fully make contact, nor does he put that second guy down. Uh, but that mindset, that mentality is something I can respect. All right, John Simpson, Lester Cotton, they weren't cutting it. And Natane Moody, on the other hand, has this aggressive ability to him. But it's not just that. The guy is physical. He's powerful. And he looks to hurt people at times. On this play right here, he's going to pull out and he's going to do a great job making contact and absolutely crushing number 55. Watch this from the end zone angle. And watch the aggressive tendency here. Look at how he gets out in space and hits 55. And he sticks with him. He hits him a second time. And I hope you guys are realizing these tendencies. When a guy pulls and makes contact with someone, generally speaking, they just stick to a guy. And they don't really care to do anything past that. This guy's looking to go and hit a guy a second, third, fourth, fifth time. He plays from snap to whistle. And this is what fires me up about this guy. And I'll be the first to tell you guys. Moody is not a guy that I've watched a lot of while he's been with the Broncos, but he's a guy that I loved in college, and he's a guy that this year on tape, he looks really, really aggressive and really, really good. At the same time, I see plays like this, where he's going to snatch and trap this defensive tackle. Now, understand this gets called. You guys see the penalty. It gets called as a hold, but this is just a garbage call in my opinion. Uh, maybe the referee looked last minute, looked his way. Uh, but this play happens hundreds of times a season and rarely will it ever get called as a hold. Uh, basically, he's going to snatch with the right hand. He's going to snatch down the left hand of the D tackle right there. And he's basically just removing leverage of this defense tackle when he puts him into the dirt. Uh, this right here is an advanced move that most guys can't do. Only the top tier offensive lineman can properly snatch and trap. Obviously, the referee right there calls it a hold. Terrible call in my opinion. But from the guard's perspective, these are the type of things that I want to see on tape. I want to see a guy snatch and trap properly. I want to see a guy pull and get aggressive and put someone in the dirt. Now, do note, uh, the Broncos did have their starting left guard go out. And then even the backup that they initially put in, something happened with him. And he also ended up going out. And then Moody was the third left guard that came into the game for them. So I don't know if that's what the Broncos think of him or if he's just the third option, the third backup to kind of come in. But that is something I just wanted to quickly point out. Let's get into the next rep. One of the things I often say is guys got to play quick. They got to play aggressive, especially at the inside spot. Uh, no one helps a center and tackle more than a guard, left guard or right guard. This is a great example. He's going to make contact with Chris Jones. He knows that he has a slide to his side. And because the guy here drops back into coverage, he knows he can pass off Jones to the center. That's exactly what he does. And then he's going to go and help his left tackle. Bam, get to number eight. That right there is a great job playing quick. Great job playing aggressively. Great processing, right? Going from one guy to the other, passing a guy off. These reps look really, really good on tape in my opinion. Now, one of the things that we had talked about with Simpson and Cotton, uh, specifically Simpson, if you guys watched the video from earlier today, was that he was not good in, in terms of processing. Um, here's an example, a great example of Moody being able to process. He's going to take on the first guy there, make contact. Here comes the defensive line game. Uh, the DN's going to come to the inside. 51's going to come to the outside. Moody's going to switch, take on this defensive end, and then he's going to stop him as well. And he's going to be able to give the quarterback the pocket. Fourth and seven right here. And the quarterback throws a touchdown. This play right here works because the offensive line is able to properly switch on the defensive line game. You're really in a two-on-two -two situation because the center is going to slide to his left. Uh, so you're really in a two-on-two -two situation. Guard has tackle, tackle has end. And if they run a game, you got to switch. Because if Moody doesn't pick up 55, 55 is getting to the quarterback. That's a great job right there by those two guys. I'm really excited for Natane Moody.